A bizarre mystery unfolding tonight in a secluded area of Hera as the search continues for a 17 year old suspect. That suspect's mother already in custody, connected to an arson investigation that uncovered human remains inside a burned out home. Police warn the 17 year old they are searching for should be considered armed and dangerous. News Force Austin Brissett joins us live in the newsroom with more on this. Austin? Well, Kevin Jolene, authorities have gone as far as telling people not to approach 17 year old Robert Stockton Jr. as they continue the search for the teenager in connection with a case of human remains found in a burned out home near Hera. We want to stress that we believe that Mr. Stockton is armed and dangerous. It's a little unsettling. The search continues Wednesday night. The Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office in search of this man, 17-year-old Robert Stockton Jr., in connection to an arson case in Hera, where law enforcement found human remains Wednesday morning. We called the medical examiner's office. The medical examiner's office did confirm for us those are human remains. Authorities saying an arson call came in Tuesday night around 6. It was just before nightfall. So we secured the scene, secured the area to make sure there was, if there was any evidence that wouldn't be damaged. Uh, when morning came about, we were able to look at the scene a bit more closely. And that's when the discovery was made. Uh, the remains had been burned, so we don't know exactly how the, uh, the victim has been killed. The home in question listed on the Oklahoma County Assessor's website, showing a photo of the house already burned dated September 7th. The Hera Fire Department telling News 4 they did battle a blaze at the home last month. But again, the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office says their tip about an arson came in Tuesday night. We are looking for one suspect, and we just captured one suspect. Stockton's mother, Mary Ann Cannon, taken into custody Wednesday afternoon while the search for her son continues. Meanwhile, Hera residents like Jeff Chamberlain saying the entire situation catching the small town off guard. I was actually kind of just surprised. You know, I, I come from Chicago in an area that, you know, violence is normal. Um, so now that I have kids and I live in this quiet town where I'm supposed to feel super safe, yeah, that does really kind of raise the hair on your neck. Now, as for why the people that fought the fire did not see the remains, we're told that's part of the ongoing investigation. Now, as for whether both of them acted together, that's also under investigation.